Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create this, so a perforation um, using some image, and um, so similar to this one as well. So it's not a uniform uh, perforation, um, but interesting one. And also, uh, we are not going to act, uh, cut holes onto uh, onto the wall. Uh, and we're going to use material okay so um, and also um, we're going to talk about uh, how to create this in lumen as well because um, it will be different um, different method okay so let's start so first uh, uh, we need to find an image so I'm going to leave I'm going to find an image. Okay, so something like this one. Okay, so now I'll save this image and oh, so I'll call that one. That's fine. I'll just use this one. And okay, so the next step is uh, we need to uh, where's it? Okay, so this one. I'm going to use uh, Photoshop. Okay, so Photoshop. And before we use, oh, uh, there's some watermark. Uh, that's fine, just ignore that. Um, before we, uh, we're going to use a filter. So in Photoshop, we're going to use a filter. But I'm going to show you um, if we uh, the filter we're going to use is um, pixelate. Okay, so on the pixelate, oh hell, yeah, so this one color half tone. And so these are the all the different, um, I think it's for different colors, so like offset. Um, I'm not very good, but I know that if I use 45 degrees for all these. And click on OK, and now you will see it becomes all a circle dot, right? But you will see these dots are too big because uh, imagine you if you perf you perforate um, this panel, and this will become a big hole. So we need to reduce the size of this uh, black uh, dot. So let's control Z. So which means we need to um, control M curve curve um, and we just need to oh, make reduce make it lighter okay or so something like this okay uh, yeah um, this is one method but I'm pretty sure there's different method to make it lighter okay so now let's try again filter and pixelate and half tone click ok yeah so I think this better now so you will see these circles not touching each other so which means when you perf when you cut these holes there won't be any issue Okay, so this is good and then we just need to save this as uh, I think I'll just use P and PNG and I'll save on desktop okay save and okay so now go to Revit um, I'm going to create a new project and create a material to it so um, Okay, so I'm going to create a wall, WA. Uh, maybe just use this wall. Okay, so <laughs> toilet partition. And let's have a look in 3D view. So currently, oh, that's too big. So let's make it smaller. Maybe something like this. Um, we need to, so currently four meter high. Yeah, that's, that's okay. So, okay, so roughly four meter by six meter. And then we'll go edit type material and I'm going to create a new material okay so 
a new okay so new material and then we need to go to appearance so for the so this um so first uh cut out is here but before that i wanted to actually make it a um maybe a, a metal so just go to here and appearance library let's just pick a metal okay so just roughly um uh maybe uh maybe maybe <laughs> so just a plan so maybe this one polish maybe this one oh this one's good okay so this one so just a color it looks like and then we just need to check the cutout and go find that um image i think where is it this one oh oh hell uh, yeah, this one should be. Yep, open. Okay, so now you will see uh, it's very small hole because if you click on this image, you will see. So currently that's uh, 300 by 300. So this is very small. Uh, we probably want this one to be this big. Um, let's have maybe uh, let's make it a 6 meter wide and four meter high okay so y width six meter and the height will be four meter okay so maybe we need to uncheck this so we can make that six meter by four meter down so now if we click okay okay and okay so you won't be able to see it we need to change this to realistic okay and then that's it so now you will see this is a panel with a perforation and so i'll just quickly do a render so i'll just do a render and then you will see this so the whole uh, this perforation with the shape of a tree okay so let me just stop it Okay, so this is it in um, Revit. Um, so basically, uh, on the hidden line or shade SD, you will not see this. See the uh, perforation only, only uh, on um, when it's a realistic or when you render it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you so if we want to render this in lumion how to create that um so before before that we need to so we we won't be able to um i'm not 100% uh, sure but uh, i i think we need to do to create another one so we're going to use this uh um and we need to find a so for example if i'm going to create a, a, a metal um perfor, per, perforated metal panel so so first we need some texture okay so uh, actually i i did i found one i downloaded one it's um somewhere Oh here. Uh, it's here. So yeah, this one. Okay, so what we need to do is in Photoshop we need to open that um because we we already have this one. Okay, we already have this one, so we can just drag drag uh where's my yeah here. So drag this into Photoshop. Okay, so I'll just control Control A, Control C, and Control V. Okay, so just oh. good. Just cover this uh, image. So what we need to do now is in this one, I'm going to use M. I think oh, not M. What's the what's the one for magic wand? W yes w i'm not please 
uh, excuse my uh, Photoshop skills. So W, okay, W, and I'm going to pick this black color, right click, and similar. So now we have all the black color selected, okay? So we don't need to do anything. We just need to go back to this one. So I'll click on this one and click on this layer and just press delete, okay? And then if I hide this layer, so now we have this one, then Control D, unselect. Now we have a material, so this metal material with the, so see this uh, background, which means that's transparent. So this is it. And then we can save this as, um, we're going to save this as a copy, so different, uh, another PNG. Okay, so, and okay. Now, I'm going to try it in um, in Lumion, but because I don't have Lumion on my computer, I'm going to use remote control the, the one in my office. Okay, so, but before that, I want to, I want to save that image onto my Google Drive so I can use it. So where did ah oh, this one? I just drag this to the folder here, and okay. So now let's go. Let's go to my computer uh, in in my office. <laughs> okay. So here. So this is Lumion. Lumion. I'm going to create a new a new project. Create new. So this one. So we're just going to use this one um, as. Um, Okay, so let's try to apply that panel onto this glass. Okay, so so first uh, I'll need to download my image. Just I just uh, I just did. So which is this one? So download. Where's download? Right click. Yep, download. Okay, so now. Go here, so material, pick this one. I just go create a new standard material and go uh, click here, pick the color map. So the quick access, that should be the last one. Yeah, open. And then, so we need to scale it a little bit. So, um, ooh. So just uh, roughly, not, uh, okay, so it's a little bit hard to see here. Maybe, uh, what's, what's going on here? Let's move it down, oh, still not big enough. So, still not big enough. I think roughly four. Yeah, I think that's good. And okay, so yeah, and I think that's it. So you will see, um, uh, Lumion will automatically use the so this one. So texture clips object. So cut the holes in this material. Um, okay, so let's. Copy this one. I think there's another glass interior, glass exterior. So I'll just copy this one to paste the material. So now these two side. Yeah, I think it's it's good. So um, then that's it. So um, let me just quickly. Uh, give give it, give it some material uh, interior. Let's let's make make it a timber floor. Okay, so okay, so let's see. So this is it a perforated panel.
try some here. Um, I'll just quickly go away. Yeah, that's better with some shadow with some light and even uh, more oh and if we do a quick render um, I think that's it. So you'll see the perforation or the light coming in and the shadow. Um, yeah. So you don't need to uh, actually cre uh, punch the hole on the wall. You just need to use the material. So I think this is the best way to do it. And um, I know that's not uh, ideal, especially sometimes when you you need to you know uh, create a, a view, a 3D view or a, an elevation view with a hidden line and a shade, and you won't be able to see um, the shadow of this uh, the perforation. So this um, yeah, um, this is. I think it's uh, it's not a bad thing because once you have all the void, so um, once you have the perforation with all the void, it will the model will be very uh, heavy. So which is not good. Um, um, that that's it. Um, if you have any um, better ideas or suggestions please uh, let me know uh, i'll see you next time thank you bye